Some plan, you know, you have something that you think is powerful at a small little scale. If not later it blows up, it's going to be gone. You know, right? So, can handle? Right? So, left with what? Same thing, right? Isn't it? Temperature, isn't it? Or hue, isn't it? Or color, isn't it? Right? Okay? So, how to get the color change? Get all the browns. Anyhow, mix it here and there as long as you hit the right tone. Get it now? Okay? And that's why if you have fewer browns, you have fewer temperature sheets. Okay? So if you want nice temperature sheets, buy all the different different browns. Anyhow, whack it in, but get the right tone. Get it? Because anywhere it's not going to shout, it's not going to have pure intensity, so this one is control. Right? Tone, you blend it out, it's control. Right? That's the assumption. Right? Okay? Third one, when you mix it together, it just oscillate optically, just like this. Okay. Now, if you want to see an impressionist example, look at uh, look at uh, Pissarro, Camille Pissarro. I don't know, is it correct? Is it one R or two, one S, two R? Camille Pissarro, I think. Is it correct? Is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he used the brown to oscillate. Exactly the same way, uh, uh, same. but he paints it lighter. You don't have to do that. He paints it lighter, okay? Like the impression in Salto, you don't have to do it. You can paint it very dark, okay? Same thing will apply, okay? If you see carefully your reference picture, same things apply. But not so, it's more subtle. The changes is more subtle. Okay? Make sense? So now you know why I just see all the brown, right? Okay? So how to control it? Never mind, you don't have to really control it. Right. If you think it's too far away, just mix the slightly nearer one. But as long as the tone is correct. Okay? Tone must be correct. Tone wrong, gone. Okay? So all your tone must be correct. See, if you use all this color, it's going to be similar with the tone you plan for, right? Right? Correct? Or not? So you don't have to worry about the tone. If the tone is correct, then you pick the right color, then okay. You have no problem. Now, the major problem is this step is always not done well. Everyone want to jump the gun and then go and work on the final image. No, not you only, okay? Don't worry, not you only. Everyone. Okay? I work with like more experienced artists, more experienced than me. When they go out and paint, they are so excited. They want to make the picture. They are surprised I spent one hour working on the draft. I'm better than them, I work one hour on draft. They are working on the painting. When I finish painting, they are still struggling, changing the thing. Why? Because they don't see the structure working, okay? So if you don't have a structure that is working, there's no way you can make it work. Okay? There's no such thing as chance. Okay? No such thing, okay? Art sounds like creative things that you can play with chance, but it's not true, okay? You got to have certain kind of fundamental structure in it so that you can make it work. What? Okay? Yeah. So now you know why you use the brown, right? Yeah.